Let's see. All right. Got one, got two, three. Three guys down and out. So let's call this in. That's one, that's two. Oh, that's four. All right then, what is going on? Uh, to here and welcome to some more Call of the Ghost live gameplay. So in today's video, I will once again be using the new Maverick Assault Rifle. Now I already recorded two games. Now a little heads up, I would definitely recommend you to check out the second game that I played. The first one that I recorded was a little bit average, it went 24 to 4, that's still a 6KD. So it's pretty decent. But the second one is a lot better and this has been happening a lot lately. Like I started recording two gameplays for each episode a couple of weeks or so ago. But every single time that I do that, the second game is usually a lot better than the first one. But most people only watch the first one. So in this case, I'd highly recommend you to also check out the second one. The class setup, as you're wondering, is shown on the screen at the moment. It's the Maverick with the foregrip and also the suppressor. As always, I'm not using a secondary, lethal or tactical. In terms of perks, I've got Sleight of Hand, Stalker, Dead Silence, Scavenger and Focus. And then for my score streaks, I've got the Guard Dog, the Trinity Missile and the Battle Hines. All in all, a pretty simple setup. But without further ado, like I said, check out game number two. With that being said, let's move on to game number one. Alright then, what is going on? Uh, to here and welcome. This is game number one. We are playing some TDM on Stormfront at the moment. So decided to play some regular TDM instead of the Unslot Deathmatch game type because everybody was constantly voting for Kill Confirmed on Bayview and I really don't like Kill Confirmed on Bayview. I think that Kill Confirmed on Bayview is probably the worst combination that there is with any Deathmatch modes of the Unslot DLC. Anyway, so once again using the Maverick. I'm really enjoying this weapon at the moment. Like this is a solid gun just in general. It's not the best. Surely ain't the best. But it is usable. And it's a nice breath of fresh air, although I've been using it for a pretty long time now. But still, I mean, I kind of just like it. So I will probably be using it a lot now and in the future, or at least until we get another weapon. If we even get another weapon. Because I, of course, don't know that. So I'm hoping that we do get another one. Maybe a new gun with every map pack that they launch. But I don't know. They might just be screwing us over. Same thing Treyarch did. This Treyarch only ended up giving us one weapon. It was a bit of a bummer to be honest. Like it didn't screw us over. It was just a bit of a bummer. Because I was hoping for more. Because I really like that. Also love that they implemented like new camos within the game. Within Black Ops 2 that was. Not within this one. The problem with that was that you didn't have to like complete any challenges for them. Like I really enjoy like just... Playing with new things, trying to unlock new things. That's what makes Call of Duty enjoyable in the first place, just the fact that you can continuously... Oh no, I just dropped my own gun. Just the fact that you can continuously unlock new things. That's what I enjoy the most about Call of Duty just in general. Being able to prestige everything. But then again, that prestiging will also come to an end, or at least for me, in the next few weeks, probably the next two weeks. No, wait, it's the next three. I need two more prestigious. Then I'll be max prestige. Level 60, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, that's something. I'm a bit of a no life when it comes to Call of Duty. Then again, that's pretty much just your fault. <laughs> I mean, I play this game so much just for YouTube purposes. I love the feedback, I love the interaction. It's just fantastic. And past two weeks, in terms of YouTube, have been phenomenal. I don't know how he was able to shoot me. I mean, on my screen, he was next to a wall, so. There's that. Card logic. Gotta love it. Regardless, can't spot anyone over there. Now, my guess is that they are over there, though. Oh, wow. Some guy just jumped down, right? Where'd he go so quickly? I'm afraid that they'll try to, like, back rate me or something. Let's get rid of that window. Can't see through that thing properly. 
There's a camper over there. <laughs> Man, and I can't shoot him. Hate that so much. What are you shooting at? Oh gosh. Managed to survive that. Lucky. Oh, another one. There we go. Managed to take him out. Oh wow, ID. Wow. That's the bad part about playing against campers. Oh, are you kidding me? Wait, what did he kill me with? With his knife. Too bad. I mean, it was nothing I could... Well, I could have tried to knife him. Then again, I never knife. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you have noticed that already. But I hardly ever knife. It's just not something to do. I play on the tactical button layout. So for me, in order to knife, I have to press the B button. Which is not something that I generally do. Like in close quarter situations, I usually just spray and pray. Or I just drop shots and pray. <laughs> like in both cases, I'm praying. I'm going to put it out there. I will not lie about it. So where are these dudes at at the moment? This guy up there. At least I know that. But I also know that if I like move towards him, I'll probably die. Then again, have to try it. Because I need this person to die, pretty much. I need him. Oh, he's already dead. Oh, no. Wow, really, teammates? You couldn't even check a freaking corner before you ran up there. Got me killed. <laughs> That's too bad. Anyway, I'm still rocking a 4KD. Like, I'm not aiming for a 10KD at the moment. Just trying to bring you some more Maverick gameplay. But then, this time, I want to get some better scores. Some better score lines than the first time. No, wait. We've got a few campers over here, though. Like, I don't get why I can't hit that person. But I couldn't. Like, I couldn't hit him. Like, what? No way. No way. There's another guy. He is down and out. Okay, first things first. Check the corners. <laughs> because we're playing against campers. As usual. Okay, at least one of the two died. Now, now my teammates will probably take care of the other one. Pretty sure about it. Yeah, I got an assist. Okay. Let's move back to this side then. These dudes sets. I can't spot anyone. Which is always a horrible position, like not knowing where your enemies are at. That's never a good thing. But my guess is that they're over here. Over in this building. Oh no. What? No way. Alright. I was like, where'd he go? Am I gonna die again? <laughs> That's the only thing I was thinking at that point in time. Am I dead again? Oh, he got taken out. Or did he? No, he didn't. Okay. Griffin. Where are these people at? Okay, and there we go. That was the guy in front of me. Anyway, 24 and 4. That's half decent for game number 1. As always. Or, well, I just started doing that recently. But I'll try to record one more game. Hopefully, the second game is going to be a little bit better. The second game is usually a lot better. I don't know why it is. That's just how it is. Anyway, drop a like if you enjoyed this one, and let's move on to game number two. Alright then, here we go, game number two. We are playing some TDM on Prison Break. Easily one of my favorite maps within this game. Then again, at the moment, Fog and Ignition are probably my favorite ones. Where's our dude over there? Where's he at? He just killed my teammate, right? Yeah, he just did kill my teammate. And again, I can't spot anyone. That person's dead, though. I'm just going to head back. I'm just going to go around. Like, not too sure where to go at the moment. Like, I don't know where these dudes are at. I know that they're around us. I just don't know where. There's a problem. That's kill number one. So, okay, there's a dude behind that thing. Fair play. Now, let's see... If we can get some kills by flanking around. No. That's just going to get us killed. Okay. Touche. I was hoping that would work though. Here he is. Yeah. They always pop up eventually. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to play it safe. Otherwise you'll die again. Some other dudes. Down and out. 
Okay, anyone over here? There's a guy. Okay, wasn't able to take him out. But he's weak, though. Like, he has to be weak. Now, I'm not too sure whether or not I should just wait over here. Because that might get me killed. No, nope, there he is. Wait, there's another guy. Alright, there we go. Managed to get the guard dog. Now, let's call that in. But I'm just going to continue to play it safe because that seems to work against these guys. Almost got taken out. Wait. Ooh, wow. Thank you, teammate. I never even noticed this guy. Like, I'm not even joking. Never noticed him. Bad accuracy. Very lucky I got out of that situation alive. To be honest, I should probably have died. Okay, there's a dude over there. Alright, sweet. Wants to get the bell height. So this game at least starts off a lot better than I expected. Oh, this guy's dead. Wait, how many were there? I saw someone that didn't have like a circle around him. Regardless, let's go to this area. See if I can find some more. That's a dude. Alright, might want to pick up this MSBS as well. Just in case. Okay, it's got the fully auto attachments and I got taken out. Man, I got killed in a horrible, freaking horrible way though. Like, that was a bit unlucky. Because on my screen, I was already behind the tree. But thanks to the lag compensation, on his screen, I wasn't. This dude behind us. Wait, where's he at? So there he is. Ooh, got lucky. Proper lucky. Okay, let's pick that up again. It's probably the same one, but that doesn't matter. Now, are they like spawning over here? There's one. Alright, took him out. Anyone else? Okay, I don't think so. Wait. I think my crosshair was acting up for a second there. Then again, not too sure about it. But my battle hind is also gone. So that's one bad thing. Where's the next bad thing? They always come in groups. <laughs> or they usually do. Bad things usually like to stack up. Oh wow. That leaf though. That leaf. Start me. Like I'm not even joking. I literally thought that that leaf was the head of a person. So. Slowly going insane? I think so, yeah. Oh gosh. Don't know how I survived that. That guy was probably just trying to kill my dog, though. That's probably why I survived that situation. Now, let's see where these dudes are at. This turned into a slow-paced game, like, really quickly, though. Don't even deny it. Now, I know that they're spawning over there, and, like, that they're in that area over there. Because all my teammates are over here, but I don't want to rush in. Because I'm not, like, the most lucky player. So in those situations, I'm usually the one who ends up dead, but the spawns are going to flip for sure. They have to. I think so. There he is. Bad accuracy. Oh gosh. I was going to head back. I'm sorry. I messed that up completely. And all I can do now is check this area and then go back. Because these guys are going to be covered no matter what. So, we just wait over here, and that should mean that we can get the kill. Although, that does mean that they have to come up. Yeah, there's someone over there. Come on. Move forwards. I know you want to. Man, it's boring, though. Let's... Let's see. Alright. Got one. Got two. Three. Three guys down and out. Let's call this in. That's one. That's two. Oh, that's four. Boom, baby. Like I said, the second game is a lot better than the first one. Like, I was expecting this to happen. Someone is just coming home in a very loud manner. That's just how it is. But I'm just going to continue. Need to get a few more kills. Two more. One more. There we go. 31 and 2. Like I said, game number two is always a lot better than game number one. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video and would like to see some more, 
I definitely be sure to show some support by leaving a like rating. And with that said, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.